YouTube, it is Chris here, and uh, I have an exciting review for you today. This is not just a review, this is an exciting review. The blade you see before you is the Schrade SCHA6LBR, which stands for, um, it's the SCH Assisted Opening Model 6, we're going to say Long Brown, because yeah, this is a big... Big now, in knife. a previous video I did, I where I did my reviews of the SCH 304 and 303 um, pocket folding knives, which are not assisted opening. I'll put a description box so you guys can check out that video if you haven't already. Those are tank knives. Those are big tank knives. And for an assisted opening knife, this is your magic assisted opening tank knife. This thing is a freaking beast. This thing is in freaking credible. It is sporting AUS8 steel, which is a really nice steel. Notice on some of the higher end, um, nicer production models of Schrade knives in their folders and assisted opening, you'll see AUS8 more often. It is just freaking, this thing is, it's big, but it's sexy. Yes, I went sexy. I went there. Right out of the box, this thing is wicked, wicked, wicked sharp. Um, surprisingly very, very sharp. But um, it has a 3.7 inch long blade. It's a much more stout blade. It's like 2.5 millimeters or what, what not. Um, it has a thumb plate, so it's automatically ambidextrous, but when you have to wrench down and put downward pressure it um it's a very it puts provides a lot more of a positive grip for the operator um it is a liner lock like most assisted openings are but the lock up is really nice and tight there is uh, there is no blade plate uh, in this thing whatsoever this thing is freaking it's a tank guys i'm not joking this thing is rock solid this is freaking terminator 2 Arnold Schwarzenegger, get down and dirty assisted opening knife. This is the assisted opening knife I wish all of them were in their in its rock solid, steadfast performance. Um, like I said, the the steel is Aus Eight. I have the completely um, hundred percent fine edge blade, but there's six different models in this line, from um, the bead blasted blade to the black coating, all that jazz. Um, it does come with a um, a glass breaker, but uh, all I'm gonna say about that is, uh, well, I got a little weird, and I broke it. It didn't break naturally. Um, don't ask. <laughs> That's all you need to know. The handle yeah. scales are really really nice. They are aluminum, and they have the really cool that TPE material that. Um, thermoplastic elastomer if I'm not mistaken on the outside as the liner and it makes it really 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 grippy and really comfortable and I think that and it really prevents a lot of the hot spots and those hot spots and some of the some knives that you get it is squared off but they softened up the edges and put that 45 degree angle cuts in there and did a really really good job it doesn't have a deep pocket carry clip but it's pretty darn close it's like an eighth of an inch sticking out which isn't very much at all it's got a good pocket clip it's not too big. Most of it, you know, almost half of it rides almost completely flat. So when you have it in your hand, the operator will not feel a uh, negative impact um, or any discomfort while having it in the hand. With this particular knife, I did not have to tighten or loosen this blade. It came virtually perfect, which is very rare for me when I pick up folding knives. Um, I like using, you can use the thumb plate, but it doesn't have that click with me. Um, I like to use that. I have. I like the finger actuated with the magic assist. It just prevents, provides a cool factor. And like with the other one, it actually kind of hides up in there. So I'm going to zoom in on that a little bit, let you guys see that. So it kind of hides up in there so you don't really see it, which is kind of nice. It makes it out of the way, and it also doesn't affect up here. With all the magic assisted opening knives that Schrade comes out with, they have this safety mechanism to lock the blade in place. So even when I remove the liner lock, it does prevents it from closing. It doesn't provide 100% lockup, but it keeps it from closing. 
But when you have that liner lock in place, I know for a fact this blade ain't going nowhere. It's going to take a lot to make this blade budge. This trade, home run. Good job. Good, 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 good job. I really, really like this knife. I am in love with this. Now, model. this is still in the budget spectrum um, for blades. It retails for as high as $80, but most places you can find it between $45 and $50. Um, on Amazon right now, currently, um, as of the time of me filming this video, it is about $47. Um, this is a little bit heavier. This is like 7.3 or 7.5 ounces. It's a little bit on the heavier side. It's got a good, nice, big, huge lanyard. That's the kind of lanyard we like, Shred, right there. Nice, big, old, round lanyard for um, 550 paracord. Uh, like I said, that bla glass breaker did work pretty well until I got a little weird with it, and it wasn't natural. It wasn't like breaking glass thing normally. It was like concrete or brick or something wild. I got a little weird with it. But um, like I said, overall... If you like big, stout, substantial, very heavy, hefty, no mess around, no BS knives that are just really going to be there for you and something you want to depend on, this is something I'd go for. This is one of my favorites in the assisted opening straight collection that they've got. Um, it's just, it's a beast. It's a monster. No real hot spots. It fits really, really well in the hand. It's just really comfortable and the edge, it has a good edge to it. So, um, I'll break real quick and let's check out the edge real quick. I'll do a little paper cut test to show you. And I've had this blade for a while, I'm not going to lie. I've had this since, I want to say January of, yeah. So I've had this blade for a whole while. I know, it took me, I don't know why it took me so long to do this review because I really like this knife. I've EDC'd it a few times for, you know, I usually EDC blades for like two or three weeks at a time, get a good feel for them, make sure I have, get a lot of good use out of them while I'm doing it, and I've just been nothing but thrilled with this blade. Alrighty, now that I'm back, even though you guys had no idea I left. But it's, I mean, I have not sharpened this since I got it. I've had it for a long time, and I've cut quite a few things with this. It's still very, very solidly and decently sharp. Very, very highly functional, even after several months of use and not sharpening it. And the coating on this particular one actually has held up pretty darn well. So, like I said, um, definitely check this out in the link below that I'll have uh, the Amazon link down below for it. Um, for anyone who doesn't already like or know about Shrade very well, which is kind of odd, because a lot of the big YouTube reviewers, and myself included, have been... Um, really impressed by their new line lately and for the past couple years 2013 and 2014 um, included they have been really dramatically overhauled and stepped up their game in the knife industry and they're only getting better and I'm extremely excited to see what they're gonna come out in 2015 but um if you guys don't already like um, straight on Facebook definitely go do that I'm actually taking a segment out to tell you about their Facebook and even if you're a Facebook junkie, create a Facebook just to like Shrade. And the reason I say that is because they're worth liking because they do giveaways, free knife giveaways, Shrade brand gear constantly. It's not just stupid t-shirts and paracord bracelets that some other companies do. Nah, -uh. they give away their, like, their inventory. I remember one time they gave away over $15,000 worth of gear in a week-long giveaway like holy freaking crap that is incredible that said I will put their YouTube channel their Facebook and all that stuff in the description box below along with uh, taylorbrands.com so you can check out their entire line from Uncle Henry Smith and Weston Imperial and all that good stuff but don't forget to like share and subscribe um, to my channel and to check out and see more videos and tests and torture tests and reviews of this nature for knives, flashlights, survival gear, and a whole bunch of stuff. I'm finally back in action. It's been really good to be back, and I definitely uh, appreciate all the support you guys have been giving me. But before I go, I want to give you guys a quick side note to something that I discovered. Maybe everybody else did too, and I'm just the idiot who figured it out last. But I want to share this with you guys real quick. Okay. For fixed blades, the medium-sized fixed blades, this is my baby. This is the SCHF-10. I like this knife for a very stout, very budget-friendly, medium-to-large-size knife 
This thing is a gorgeous sex abuse. But something I discovered, it has, there has been a counterfeit of it. <laughs> it's the SCHF 26. It's the same knife. It's the same exact knife. Schrade, why did you make a whole nother model number for the same blade? It's the same length, the same weight, same exact dimensions and size, same point of balance, same hex screws, same jimping on the top and the bottom. The only difference is the stamp. This is SCHF, it's SCHF 26 and the handle. It's still a stout quarter inch thick. It does provide the operators and consumers with two really cool handle options. But I guess in my mind, and I'm sure Shrade will more than be more than happy to share this with me because uh, if I have any questions, they are always really gracious and very patient with my uh, weird and stubborn behavior. <laughs> but um, I, I guess I, uh, my, my question would be since they're handle scales and you guys pretty much use the same hardware for that, why didn't you just keep the SCHF-10 as like one of the home run hitting like knives in your line that you don't get rid of for a while? You keep it around for a few years and just provided, oh, the SCHF-10 now comes in either micarta or TPE. So I guess, you know, depending on if you're not a micarta guy and you like, you know, more of that, um, more of that grippier texture, texture, textured feel, you're good to go. But <laughs> I guess the thing that I want to get out is it's the same knife. Same exact knife, just a different handle, and a stamp on the back. It's, other than that, it's exactly the same. There is no difference in that knife whatsoever. But something I did notice is in, in whether it's wet, dry, cold, hot, the micarta and the TPE do lend itself to be excellent choices, irregardless for um, use out in the field, and very reliable, and you're... They're both great knives, virtually the same price. It's the same freaking knife. But I will be doing a full review on the 26, even though I can pretty much I could pretty much just carbon copy the 10. But I have some really cool new tests that you guys haven't seen yet, which is gonna be weird to be doing with my right hand until my left hand fully recovers. But that's it for now. I hope you guys have a wonderful and fantastic day and putting up with me ranting for way too long. I'm out.